It's exactly nine o'clock and when the Rock Choir formed ten years ago after a note was just posted in a coffee shop window in Surrey, the dream was to create a group of, get a few people together, all ages, experiences, all levels, just people wanting to sing together. Yeah, it can make you feel good, can't it? Little did they know it would grow to have more than 28,000 members across the UK and that they'd be opening this year's BBC Proms in the park. We're going to talk to some of the members in a moment. First, good morning everyone. Morning. 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 In fine voice this morning. Yeah, <laughs> always. Don't worry, we're not going to ask you to sing. Uh, take a look the at the on their faces when you're <laughs> Take a look at them in action. So many of them in the rock choir now, they could probably fill that stadium just with the choir themselves. Uh, we're joined by the founder, Caroline Redmond Lusher. Morning Hi. to you. Morning. And by the choir's leader, Narelle Brooksbank, and choir member, Paula Wilkinson. Hi, Hi. Hello. You, you've been here before. You were here, what, nine years ago? Nine just after years you started. ago. I had a thousand members, and you invited me to come on and chat. And now it's 28,000, but you were a big part of that um, growth because, of course, you told the world that we existed and, and everyone joined. You know? But uh, it's all very well being told that you exist, but it's about what you appeal to, mm. to those people. And I suppose everyone loves a little bit of a sing-song, privately. Mm -hmm. It's just knowing... <laughs> this, well, it's having the, having the bravery to kind of do that in front of other people and with other people as well. Most of our members are singing in the shower, singing in the yeah. car on the way to work. The kids are complaining in the back, you know, mummy's out of tune. Uh, these are the kind of people that join. 2.6% 2 2 are men. Uh, the rest, <laughs> obviously, are women. 2.6% uh, are men. Why so few blokes? You know, I don't know, and we do. We try and grab them off the street, don't we? <laughs> Bring them in. Maybe that's why. <laughs> yeah, maybe, that, maybe that's a little maybe bit it's too, too bossy. I think it's the, the, the singing, the dancing that we do, the shows. I think it's, um, it just appeals to, to the ladies. Paula, you were telling me that you'd not been in the choir before you joined. What, what was the appeal about this one? Why start with the rock choir? There's a couple of things, really. I mean, firstly, I was very poorly a few years ago, and I had... Uh, renal failure and pneumonia so my lung capacity was about 50 percent uh, and actually one of the consultants said singing would really really help well, that sounds so, counterintuitive doesn't it yeah really? so from a health and wellness perspective i was driving shopping and i saw a big banner come and join rock choir and i thought do you know what that's exactly what i'm going to do and i've been in it a couple of years mm. and my and lung capacity now 80 percent so wow. it's had a really good sort of wellness effect on me. And that's yeah. the physical effects. And Narelle, you'll be aware as well of the, the mental health effects of just, you know, the, the emotional impact Absolutely. it can have. Absolutely. So with my choirs, when I'm leading them, the amount of members that come up to me and say after that session they just feel alive again. They've maybe been going through depression, they've lost someone, difficult times in their life. And just coming to that session for an hour and a half, everything switches off including for myself, and then everyone leaves on a high. And I think um, singing together, breathing together, being part of a social community choir has a massive impact on people. So we need to talk about proms in the park mm. and what exactly is happening then. Well, I'm on stage with my team. There's 80 musicians like Narelle who lead the choirs around the country. They've all come together to perform a super choir, super rock choir, rock choir vocal group on stage with the BBC Concert Orchestra, which is unbelievable. We were rehearsing with them yesterday. Very emotional. And we'll hear... And you'll hear five songs to open the show, to get everyone ready, get everyone up and dancing. And then there is a huge surprise, which I'm not allowed to talk about. That's a clue. It involves a lot of people and a lot of singing. Oh, that's not a clue. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, a lot of people, a lot of singing. Well, what will I do? I'll, I'll get absolutely <laughs> shot if I say anything. <laughs> but it, it's, we have 28,000 members in the choir. You can imagine how excited they might be. 
in taking part in something that might happen <laughs> at the event. So I'm I don't just know what else to say. I mean, so, so you're here a decade ago. You had a thousand members. You now got twenty-eight thousand. I'm yeah. thinking if you come back in twenty twenty-eight, right? I mean, if you've got twenty-eight times more members again, I mean, it, it, can, can you cope with more, or are you we, critical we, mass? We, we respond to people asking for rock choirs, so we, we'll get messages and emails and calls saying, "Could you come to wherever that might be?" And then we advertise for the right musician, like Narelle. Um, she comes in for training. Uh, she becomes part of the team. And then we, we roll that out. I've been asked to go to Singapore, to other countries now, so maybe we need to start looking uh, at the bigger picture. Wow. Yeah, well, of small seeds. Brilliant. Well, good luck <laughs> with, with whatever, with the with lot of people and the lot of music. Happening. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Norelle and Paula as well. Thank you so thank much you, for talking you. to us. And, you, and can, proms, you can find out what that's surprising yeah, is live. Proms in the park, live this Saturday on BBC Radio 2.